Hello, everybody. Have you ever wondered about an electric bidet, like if you should try it or use it? Um, well, welcome to Toilet Talk. This is the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. Oh. So this week on Toilet Talk, welcome to my bathroom. I am so happy to see you all today. I'm going to be talking about the Barumi bidet. So they have um, a couple of different models. The one I have that I'm going to show you today is the EFBM 4000. So it's an elongated, it's for elongated toilets. Um, today, I'm basically just showing you the features on it. If you're interested to know my thoughts on it, I'm going to post a product review on it on my YouTube channel next Thursday. So please stay tuned to look out for that. Um, also, please let me know if you have any questions about the days, anything about them, the difference between um, electric and non-electric. Um, I'll give you a hint, it's the electricity. But um, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. And um, you're interested in, or S interested, huh, let me know more about what that means. But I'll go ahead and get started. So uh, please forget the lighting. I am in my bathroom. It's kind of a struggle. So this is, I'm, I'm going to be flipping you uh, back and forth a little bit. So pardon my uh, camera angle. So this is the Barumi electric bidet, just kind of giving you an overview. Oh, you're from India. Welcome. Welcome from India. Please let me know where you are from down below. Uh, this Barumi bidet came with a toilet seat and a slow closing lid, which is very nice since I have a two-year-old. It does have an electrical cord. Now, I um, had to run um, an extension cord in this upstairs bathroom because I don't have a GFCI outlet next to this toilet. Um, that is kind of the thing. You do need to use a GFCI outlet. You don't want any fires happening or anything like that. So if you are considering an electric bidet, please consider having an electrician come to your house and put a GFCI outlet next to your toilet so you don't have this situation where I have my cords running through the bathroom. Uh, this is a fall risk right here. It's a big no-no. So um, I've got, so for the... Barumi bidet. It has it, this mount attached on the side. Um, I do know some about Indian toilets. I'll have to, you can send me more information about it if you want to. Um, so it is mounted. You cannot detach this mount. Um, it stays on the right side only. I don't know if there's a way to attach it on the left, but that would be a great question to call uh, Barumi customer service if you're left-handed, for example, or if you have the use of your left hand and you would prefer it on the other side, that would be really good to find out. Um, it, there's a whole host of buttons right here. So let's start over on the right. Here's the on and off button. Um, it has a child version, which is great. So um, I'll show you in a little second, but I actually encourage you before you actually um, sit on the bidet and before you actually use it, I always recommend that people test out the water stream with the palm of their hand. That way you can get a sense of the water temperature and the water pressure before you actually get it on your bottom to clean yourself up. Yes, people in India use water, no toilet paper. And you know, that's what I'm trying to get people in the US to do here too. But I'm biased. We on um, this account, we uh, are open to always to wipe your bottom or clean your bottom um, just so that everyone can have their option and pick and choose. But personally, I do prefer water. Um, anyway, we will get back. So here's the child version. That just means that um, if you are, um, a child, okay, sorry. So when you sit on this, that's the only time the buttons work. So I'm just letting you know. So if I push the buttons, you can see right now it is on, but nothing's happening. That way, if you have uh, a child who comes up and they just start pushing the buttons, 
nothing's going to spray out of the toilet. But if you put it on the child mode, then you can go ahead and spray the water functions because that sensor is released where it can tell if there's somebody on here or not. Um, this right here, the uh, it, it deals with the seat warmer. It has a seat warmer on here if you want a warmer toilet, if it's a cold day outside. And um, let's see. And then, sorry, I was reading. Um, it's really very difficult if we come out of India. Yeah, because um, when you come to the U.S. or other places, you don't really have those bidet options, do you? Let's see. This also does the control for the water temperature. So you can make the water temperature warmer or you could make it cooler. So this does, it has a little reservoir that heats up the water. I can actually feel it right here. It's a little bit warm to the touch. Um, this uh, has a massage function too. So if you wanted to wash your bottom, you choose that one and then you could do the massage function, which just means it pulsates back and forth. Here is for if you have female anatomy and you're, you're just peeing number one, you can use that. It also has all the holes in it you could do and then it also has a dry function, which is really neat. You can adjust the water pressure here and then you can adjust the nozzle here. And then of course, when you're finished using it, you hit stop. So if you're finished using uh, the water, hit stop. If you're finished using dry, hit stop. Um, so let's see, really amazing to know a lot of things. Oh yes, I agree, I agree. Um, let's see, okay, so as far as the toilet goes, I'm gonna sh try to show you an example with <laughs> while moving the camera, so please bear with me. So let me try and show you the water stream. Um, what I'm gonna do is hold my hand over the toilet and push the button really quick, so. There we go. Okay, so I'm pushing the button. I have my hand out. You see the nozzle's coming out. It's a stainless steel nozzle. And then I'm trying to show you the angle. You can see how it goes like that. I can, t I can feel the water pressure, the water temperature. So this is pretty, um, for me it feels really good because it's warm. And then it cleans itself and it goes back inside of the toilet. So it does that little dance. Um, as far as, like I said, I'm not going to give any product reviews on it in particular, but I thought this, as far as like installation, it was pretty easy to install. Um, uh, just changing, we just followed the instructions in the, um, uh, booklet that it came with and it's very light. I was actually surprised at how light this was and, um, just having the, um, option to plug it into the wall. Uh, I mean, you know, electricity is very accessible for us here, luckily, but too bad I have an extension cord. So um, please let me know if you all have any questions about the functions on it. It has a lot of buttons. So I would recommend if you are somebody who is getting this for, let's say, an older family relative, who maybe gets overwhelmed with a lot of options. I don't know if this would be the best for them. It's usually easier to go simple, have less buttons when you have people who get overwhelmed with having a lot of options, but this can really, you can really customize it to what you really want, what your needs are, the right position, the right temperature, the right, you know, just everything. Um, that's what I, um, see from this bidet. So please let me know if you promoting product or education. I am um, kind of both. So Barumi did offer me um, a discount for you to use if you were interested in purchasing a Barumi bidet. Um, there, it is 25% uh, off if you use the code HTWIPING. That's H-T-W-I-P-I-N-G at barumiusa.com. So there is that if you're interested. If um, I do get a small percentage, which really helps me run this account. Um, but as far as education, I do everything that I do on this account is to educate you and to show you 
different ways to clean up your bottom. Um, there's not just one right way to do it. Like I said earlier, there's so many different ways. So I'm so happy to show you these products and just um, so you can pick what works best for you and then I'm your guide. As always, you can direct message me um, um, on Instagram. You can contact me um, at, or excuse me, um, if you go to hardtimewiping.com, you can easily email me through there. And um, I also have a newsletter. It's free if you'd care to sign up. Um, and I have a course called Hard Time Wiping, uh, Let's Talk About It. And it's really inexpensive and it goes over different ways that you can clean up your bottom easier. So that's just a very general one. So please make sure to follow me. If you found this information helpful, please go ahead and uh, share this with somebody. I appreciate you so much for watching today. Thank you for bearing with my, my lighting and for the camera angle today. But thank you so very much and um, I will be back on Instagram Live this Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, you can ask me any questions. We are talking only about wiping, so just wiping tips, like straight up with toilet paper or washcloths or whatever, just straight up wiping tips. So if you don't want to ask a question during the live session, you can direct message me in advance and I can answer it then. Um, I'll also be back next Tuesday for Toilet Talk. You want to check out this tilting mirror that I super love by Ponte Julio. Can't wait to show you that on my actual set where the lighting will be better. So any of this thing is very, very, very normal thing to use water. Yes. When I hear this, it's different to me. Yes. Yeah. Water is the best and most effective way to clean your bottom. It's kind of like if you were to wash your, if you have mud on your hands, what feels more clean? Just using like a paper towel to wipe it off or washing your hands the same way after you go to the bathroom if you have a bowel movement if you're pooping using toilet paper doesn't clean you as well as water so try to change the culture here in the u.s and i so appreciate you all for bringing that up um you take care everyone have a wonderful rest of your week and please join me on thursday at one o'clock central standard time take care Bye-bye.